Hi, good afternoon. Today we're going to be looking at the school-based assessment um, spreadsheet section. Now, you have been introduced to spreadsheets in a previous lesson. So we're just going to look at some of the requirements that um, you are to gather for your SEA. All right, so let me just move over to my uh, screen a little that I've been working on. Now, you are, your SBA asks you to create a spreadsheet to hold data for your athletes as well as to create a budget for your event. Uh, so this screen represents our athlete data. Now, our, we are supposed to use a minimum of five schools, right? And for those five schools, the maximum number of students that they can send to the event is 10. Good? However, the maximum number of athletes participating in the event is 45. The minimum number of athletes you should have is 40. So you need a minimum of 40 athletes and a maximum of 45. So you're going to spread that 40 to 45 athletes across the five schools that you are supposed to have right so let's go back to our athlete data now this is my athlete the first thing you want to do guys is to ensure that you format your spreadsheets whereas i only have athlete data sheets you need to have additional information in your spreadsheet right and you need to have information such as your name, the name of your school, your candidate number. You need to have also the territory you are, you are in which you are sitting the exam. And you need to have the name of the subject. Now, how you do that, how you uh, modify that in your spreadsheet is dependent on where you want to put your information. So you can put your information in a header, right? You go to insert and you select header footer, right? And you can put your information in either if you choose to right or you can simply uh, do as i just did here put your name and your school name and all of that and your athlete data so let's look at our other headings right our other headings is first name so you want the first name of the athlete the athlete's last name, the athlete's gender, being male or female, uh, the athlete school code and the name of the school the athlete is from, as well as the event that a particular athlete is going to be participating in. And you were already told that your events range from 100 meter to 1500 meters. Good? So here, if you notice my list, I have the name of the first name of students, last name, gender being M or F, because we don't want you to write out male and we don't want you to write out female. If you choose to do that, that's fine. The school code, however, should have the initial of the school as well as two digits. Right? So the initial should be the sorry the school the school code should be the initial 
of the school as well as two digits and this was done incorrectly right so all of them need to be um, to have zero zero at the end right because you're working with one school right so each school need to have the initial of the school as well as two digits at the end okay the name of the school and the event that the student is participating in all of them okay so as soon as you have completed this data sheet we we'll move on to our other and data or other information sheets that we need to to work on all right so as i was saying um we we want to go back now to our normal view so we go to view and we select normal view and we go back to our normal view good so this is what your athlete data sheet should look like the first and last name of the athlete gender school code school name and event that the athlete will be participating in let's move over now and let's look at our key sheets now for our key sheet we are asked to insert a number of things and all of these things are found on your your SBA question paper and that's the Microsoft Word document or the printed document that each of you would have been given by your teacher now here again I started out with key data sheets now the same procedure you did to the sheets previously must also be done to this one and that means you should include your name and school name school territory and all of those things that were in the previous sheet so all of this information should be in your key sheet as well right, so you ensure that that information is there and as i said you can put them in your header footer right if you like go to your footer it is always essential to have something in your footer right so you can put just about anything in your footer a slogan something uh, a motto for the school for the university or whatever it is that you like can go in the footer and you can choose to put it in any one of those right so you can do that now Let's go back to our normal view and we go back to our own tab. Okay, so this represents our event data and we know our closing date is, this is October 31st when all applications or registration forms should be turned in our entry fee, $500 per school and if a school register date they pay an additional amount of 10 percent and then here i have my second key table and this list the events and this is per gender now although i have this falling below it is your choice you can put it wherever you want it to go you can put it beside it you can put it down below you can put it wherever you want it to go it's up to you right so here you can put them side by side or you can go back to how I had it um, before, right? Let me just escape to get the lines off. And the list of events and um, the event table contains the events that the students will be participating in. And then we have our medal study table and our medal study table represents the number of events that will be taking place and we know it's five because we're going to be counting the number of events that we have here and we also know that we're going to be giving three events 
per three three medals rather per event so let's look at our calculation to count the number of events we have here we are using the function counter and it says equal count a and then your range of data is from here to here so let me just go back over this for you so let me delete that and put it back in so you understand so here I'm gonna say equal and once I start to type the, the terms will come up and I can choose the one I want so I double click and I get counter now I go to where I want to select my range and I will click on the first range ensure that my mouse pointer is in the middle section not on the lines but in the middle and then I'll hold down my mouse and I'll drag it down to enclose all the data that I want to be in the range and then I will close my brackets and I enter and I get my the number of events now it is essential for you to use this function because there are a number of times when our eyes miss miss C so though there are five some of us may see six or four so it is best for us to use our formulas to do that and remember guys you can set your tables side by side if you like however you want your tables to go however you want your sheet to look right so let's go down now to our event expenditure and so this is my event expenditure and this looks at the events themselves the number and the and per unit so not, well not necessarily the event but the items that we are going to be focusing on the number of items that each of these will require and the unit cost right so this is actually cost per unit so this should be cost per unit right so we know that we have 10 security officials we are supposed to have six marshals our medical personnel um, and remember for our security it's three thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars per security um, our marshals five thousand four hundred and eighty our medical personnel is a flat fee of six thousand um, dollars so we also know that we pay fifty dollars per bottle of water what we are not sure of is the number of water that we will need to buy right and we're gonna come to that in a minute right we also do not know the number of medals that we're going to buy because we need to calculate based on the positions that we're going to be awarding and the number of events that each person will run our energy drink is also a flat rate of six thousand five hundred so it's tent and rental of venue good so let's look at calculating the number of water that we will actually be purchasing now your spa question paper states that each official gets two bottles of water whilst your athletes get one right so we want to understand how many athletes we are going to be having participating in our events right so in this case guys this calculation will need to be done after we have done our school data right because it is only in the school data that we know exactly how many athletes we are going to be working with so i'm going to come back to this calculation in a little while